Hi everyone! Today we've got a transportation puzzle to work on. Let's get started. This is called a submarine. Submarines go way under the water in the ocean. Do you see a piece that looks like a submarine? Here it is. Next, let's look for this piece. This is a train. There are all kinds of trains. You could have a subway or a locomotive or a passenger train. I like to call this kind a choo-choo train. Here's our choo-choo train. Which one of these modes of transportation is powered by you? A bicycle, because you push the pedals to make the bike move. What do you think this one is? You might ride one around the city or even take one to school. It'll stop at different places and pick other people up. Great job, it's a bus. Do you see a piece that looks like this? This is a ship. Ships are really large boats and they might be cruise ships where passengers go places or even container ships where it takes cargo from one place to another. Here's our ship. What is this one called? You might fly across the country in one to visit family or friends or even take a vacation. That's right, it's called an airplane. Now we have four left. Two of them you'll use on Earth. Two of them are for outer space. Let's do the ones for Earth first. Do you know what this vehicle is called? It flies like the airplane, but it has rotors on the top and on the tail. Yes, it's called a helicopter. And our last mode of transportation for Earth is called a car. There are all sorts of kinds of cars. You've got big cars, sports cars, little cars. Do you know what this one is called? Aliens might fly around in those. Great job, UFO. And a UFO stands for Unidentified Flying Object. And our last one takes astronauts up into space. It's a rocket ship. So we had an airplane, a rocket ship, a UFO, a helicopter, a car, a bicycle, a bus, a train, a ship, and a submarine. I hope you learned something new. Bye-bye.